<laughs> All right. Watching the world burn. I'm watching the world burn. April 26, 2023. Let's get into the latest news and what's going on in the world. I tell you what, it is something else, huh? Tucker Carlson gone from Fox News. Uh, lots of speculation about that. But uh, I think it was his uh, uh, ability to talk about the COVID thing, you know, the jab. He didn't, the Fox News didn't like that. By the way, I do think get woke, go broke. I think Fox News is going to go broke at this point. <laughs> Their stock lost, what was it, $500 million uh, in the last day. I tell you what, if you're invested in Fox News, you might want to just bail out of that stock. Get woke, go broke. Uh, I'm sorry to see Fox News dying. Uh, maybe you want to watch Newsmax. Uh, there's... You know, it just seems like everywhere you go, uh, there's 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 uh, woke people everywhere. Uh, but let's uh, let's get into the uh, video. This is Russia's Lavrov, and I tell you what, this this was a great uh, statement by him. Uh, oh, geez, forgot to turn the volume up. By the way, I got the new sound bar under the TV. I tell you what. This is going to be awesome. You're going to be able to hear everything he has to say in a much greater fashion. Хотя не все об этом говорят вслух. Речь совсем не об Украине, о том, как будут дальше выстраиваться международные отношения через формирование устойчивого консенсуса на основе баланса интересов, либо через агрессивное и взрывоопасное продвижение гегемонии. Нельзя рассматривать украинский вопрос в отрыве от геополитического контекста. Многосторонность предполагает уважение устава ООН во всей взаимосвязанности его принципов, о чем было сказано выше. Россия четко объяснила задачи, которые она преследует в рамках специальной военной операции. Устранить годами создававшиеся натовцами угрозы нашей безопасности непосредственно на наших границах и защитить людей, которых лишили провозглашенных многосторонними конвенциями прав, защитить их от публично заявленных киевским режимом прямых угроз истребления и изгнания с территории, где столетиями жили их предки. Мы честно сказали, за что и за кого воюем. Well, I guess you can't say it any better than that. Uh, let's continue on. Um, holy moly. Let's see, uh, what else happened? Oh, yeah, Don Lemon. Don Lemon is gone from CNN. Uh, I, well, I, I never watched him, <laughs> but I, I guess there were a lot of weird people that did. Uh, let's see, they used to get drunk and line them up to kill them. Ah, uh, well, all right, let's watch this one. 21 seconds, yeah. 12 марта 22 года Украина отходила из Павловки, взорвали мост где-то в 6 утра. Они заняли высоту над Павловкой и начали там, ну оттуда обстреливали полностью Павловку. Вот, дорогу, которая ведет на Егоровку, тоже обстреливали. Или стреляли по людям, которые находились в селе, просто по людям. Со стороны тока снайпера стреляли по людям. Вот. А потом, когда вернулись они в Павловку где-то в конце июня, вот, и они начали издеваться над людьми, чтобы проверить, поле заминировано или нет. Они там одного мужчину Холомбашова. Они по полю заставили бегать, стреляли ему под ноги из автомата, чтобы он бегал по всему полю и проверял, есть мины или нет. Ну, таким образом они проверили, есть мины или нет. Вот. И в конечном итоге они его убили все-таки. Он на труп оказался около Maybe около I'm not тока. supposed to be playing and this on YouTube, but I don't know. I mean, I, there's no graphic pictures here. Just an old woman uh, giving her 
I, 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 I only have so much time, and uh, if you watch my previous video, I'm just trying to work on a garden and prepare for the apocalypse. I, I guess that's enough of that. It's two minutes and one second. Um, let's see. I, you know, he was talking about, I don't know if this is true. He says that most Americans have lost the ability to pay for their credit cards and everything. And, uh, well, maybe so. I don't know. Uh, this was a very inspirational uh, video about don't forget our French brothers and sisters. It was kind of a Hollywood type production. I won't play that. Uh, this is uh, this is just an indoctrination propaganda video of children in the Ukraine. Who knows? Uh, let's see. Let's keep going. Well, this this was an interesting video. I'll play this one. Я беженка, которая живет в Германии. Вообще по барабану, буду я находиться здесь или не буду. Вы платили, платите и будете платить налоги. Ну вот. Sounds kind of entitled, don't you think? Всех украинцев массово попросили культурно в Германии искать себе новое жилье себе новое жилье, то есть мы должны покинуть наши социальные. So maybe when you send all that U.S. money to Ukraine, <laughs> they just feel like they're going to get a better life in another country. Well, they need to go to the Mexican border and then they can cross into the United States. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, yeah, you got to watch this. This is. Uh, Colonel McGregor, I mean, I tell you what, he, I you got to watch him on YouTube or Rumble or, well, those are the only two places that I watch him, but listen to him. I mean, he makes perfect sense. Russia is not Vietnam. You're going up against a nuclear power uh, that is infinitely more powerful than anything the United States has ever faced on the battlefield in the last, uh, what, 20, 30 years and, uh, and we decided we were going to fight this war. It's the stupidest thing these young idiots that are in charge of our government can ever possibly do. It's calculated, and now we're sitting staring at a disaster. This force that we armed in Ukraine is destroyed. They're losing thousands of people, on average anywhere from five to 800 a day. That's roughly a battalion every day vanishes. We haven't taken it seriously. We thought this was an opportunity to harm Russia. All we've done is weaken NATO, harmed our credibility in the world's eyes. And now we've got to admit we made a mistake and come to an agreement because if we don't, what is to stop the Russians from crossing the Dnieper River, occupying Kiev and marching all the way to the Polish border? Nothing. Well, can you say anything better than that? I don't think so. I think he stated it very perfectly. Uh, oh, dang on it. I hate it when that happens. Um, yeah, this, this was, well, like, that's three minutes. Well, what the hell? Let's just make this a long video. Информации часто лгут и манипулируют вашим сознанием. Это вопрос скандально известного журналиста Удольф Котте. Он 17 лет проработал в одной из крупнейших немецких газет Франкфурта Альгемайна Цайтунг. Ульф Котте написал книгу «Исповедь. Продажные журналисты», где он рассказал, как США добиваются контроля над влиятельными СМИ. По странному совпадению, Удольф Котте умер от сердечного приступа меньше, чем через три года после публикации своей книги. Well, I, I've been a journalist for about 25 years, and I was educated to lie, to betray, and uh, not to tell the truth to the public. But seeing right now, within the last months, how how far. Um, uh, how, how the German and American media tries to bring war to the people in Europe, to bring war to Russia. Uh, this is a point of no return. And I, I stand, I'm going to stand up and say, um, it is not right what I have done in the past uh, to, to manipulate people, to make propaganda. Now, this guy can 
has had a come to Jesus moment. And this is this is where I fault everybody in the United States, especially our media. You know, I've had my come to Jesus moment uh, many years ago. I, I, I well, two thousand and three. I when I watched the videos of us just killing thousands and thousands of Iraqis with the bombs blowing up from the planes coming down. And I just thought, this just seems wrong to me. I mean, you know, yeah. I mean, at the time, I was brainwashed, and I thought Saddam Hussein, you know, he's he's a bad dude, and we need to, we need to free the Iraqi people. But it just seemed like we were going about it the wrong way. Well... Die, äh, was die Medien gehören zwei Konzernen. Ja, also einer davon ist zum Beispiel Bertelsmann. Und natürlich vertreten die bestimmte Interessen. Well, sounds like the United States, diese, huh? The media is owned by the einseitig. corporate globalist und, lunatics. Äh, das ist ja jetzt verschärft. You indem just don't man, get the äh, news unless you're on Medien. independent media. Warum macht man das? Damit die Menschen sich keine Meinung mehr bilden können? damit sie einseitig in eine Richtung yeah. geschoben werden. Ja, yeah. how many people do you talk to? You go in, they, they, they don't even know what the hell's so going on in the world. Dass sie benutzt werden, um uns zu verurteilen. Ja, Unless you watch channels like mine, huh? Drei Jahre Gefängnis. Es gibt ein, ein Beispiel jetzt. Es war eine Rentnerin. Sie hat ein Plakat gemacht in einem Fenster und hat geschrieben, danke, Putin, danke, Russland. Sie ist verurteilt. Ulane, drei oder vier Dinge schon verurteilt, die sie hier hat, 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 die sie Yeah, remember uh, when Germany crossed into Russia and killed 25 million people. But yeah, we, 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 our youth don't know anything about that anymore. It's depressing. Let's watch this one. What doesn't this look like uh, the War of the Worlds movie? What was it? Tom Cruise was in that. It's exactly what that looks like. Uh I well, well yeah, what the hell? 39 seconds. Look at this fire burning along the way. This is what NATO has done. Ukraine is a dystopian nightmare. And you know, I hope this don't come to the United States, but I really do think it will someday. Because the whole world hates us right now. Whether you want to believe that or not. What goes around comes around, people. Hope you're going to be prepared for it. I'm Like I said, my previous video was about just making a garden. All we can do is what we can do, right? Ah, uh, let's see. By the way, I did, you know, and this is the thing. I mean, the United States has never gone up against a foe like Russia. You know, we we fought, I, in my previous videos, we fought Libya, we fought uh, Iraq, uh, we fought uh, a lot of, Nations that, you know, yeah, they just didn't have the technology or the weapons. You know, the United States wanted to fight Russia, and now we're going to go up against China? Let's look at what they got. So imagine when this comes across the Atlantic. And by the way, they're cutting fields through the Antarctic, uh, making it a lot shorter for them to get their, their naval fleets. Uh, of course, China 
China's naval fleet is now bigger than the United States, so don't think that this war can't come to our shores. So right now, yeah, we're fighting this over in uh, Europe. But as a U.S. person, I think you need to be a little bit worried. This is the new war that the United States chose to fight. This is on a technological scale that uh, is more advanced than what we have. Just wanted to show that one. Uh, this was a weird video. I won't show this. It, was, it just, I guess it looked like, I don't know if it's in Russia or Ukraine. They were just inspecting that vehicle. It's a military vehicle. Ah, uh, let's watch uh, France. Uh, France continues to burn down. Wonder how long. I mean, you know, the French people just got to kind of realize that all their protesting just doesn't amount to a hill of beans. They're literally going to have to do what was done in the old days and just go in, raid the government buildings and take out the head of Macron. There's a house built out. Sorry. Sorry. A little bit of music there. But yeah, they're just building this wall, and you know what? I mean, all it takes is one freaking bulldozer to come through, so this is a meaningless protest, but I guess it makes them feel good, so I won't, I won't waste any more time on that until they go in and just take the guy out. Um, by the way, I, I will show this last 33 seconds, and then we're done with the video, because uh, I thought this was very disturbing, and this is what's taking place in Ukraine. Uh, oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you about the uh, the bombing. I mean, Ukraine bombed the Donbass city. It was it was horrible, and uh, I, I I unfortunately I watched the videos. Uh, there were there were old women that got blown up. I mean, these were civilian targets, and they, there was a bus that got hit by a, a Ukrainian shell. I mean, what the hell? It, Okay, Ukraine. I mean, I understand if you want to bomb uh, uh, Russian military troops, but why are you bombing a civilian city, the Donbass city, and uh, blowing up old people? And uh, I watched the bus. Uh, the carnage was unbelievable. Um, you know, I understand. You know, you, you want to support Ukraine. That's fine. You want to support uh, the Biden administration. That's fine. Uh, you know, unfortunately, you're just not getting the news. Now the Russians call them Nazis. I don't know. What do you think? Now, the good thing is the police here are standing between this lunatic and these peaceful people. Of course, they ran off. Well, that, by the way, they were from Switzerland. I guess you saw that. Ah, oh, man, I'll tell you what. This was... <laughs> this was one weird movie. Sixty-year-old, year old transgender woman. Uh, she was going on. I, I tell you, there are some disturbed people that are being protected under our laws. Um, I, you know what? It, let's let's watch something positive about Ukraine. Um, oh, yeah. Well, actually, we got to watch these last two videos. Well, fuck, we got to watch the last three videos. I'm sorry, I keep torturing you. This is, this is, all right, so evidently the Ukrainians supposedly shot uh, a um, Wagner soldier in the head who surrendered. Которого раненого расстреляли украинские негодяи. 
и будем убивать всех тех, кто есть на поле боя. Ни одного пленного больше не брать. So who knows? Uh, that, that that's an escalation. Um, anyway, he he basically said that he wants no more prisoners. Uh, the Russians were taking prisoners from, and, and if you watch the videos that I've done, you've seen that I, I've shown you that they were. Uh, this this is a positive video. I we'll just get some hot, something heartwarming in this thing. Oh my God. <laughs> Whether you're on the right side or the wrong side, you know, you gotta love your kids. People everywhere get hurt. All right, so we're gonna finish up. Wait a minute. Oh, my God. No, no. <laughs> this thing gets longer and longer. All right. We got to watch this. Holy shit. By the way, I mean, this guy puts Blinken and all the idiots in the Biden administration. He is so well-spoken. The whole world loves this guy. Um, he is the Russian spokesman. And... Uh, I tell you, he just, doesn't he look like your grandfather? I mean, he just, such an honest speaking individual. And that's the problem. Because the whole world is, whether his words are lies or not, they're, they're, they're believing every word he says. And of course, he's talking to eighty percent of the world. So you're reading the words, right? Do not forget or forgive. Woo, I tell you, we are in for a world of hurting here in the United States. If you now don't have a garden. Um, um, yeah, we got two more videos and that'll be it. Holy shit, this is a long ass video. You're saying that Zelensky um, uh, was told off by Bill Burns about all his Zelensky's officials riding around in Kiev in new Mercedes Benzes and the like. The actual message, as I understood it, and uh, he was not alone on the trip. So the actual message that is, there are other people from the community with him, intelligence community. The actual message to Zelensky was uh, the, gen the bureaucrats and the generals are getting very angry at you because you're taking too much of the, of the scam. You know, you're taking a bigger cut. <laughs> and he was given a list of 35 people that were involved in, um, in uh, corrupt activities. Zelensky did f fire 10 people on the list, some generals and officers and some civilian bureaucrats. Most of the agencies in the government that normally do co contracting work. Of course, if you're not following the law, like, William uh, Burns, whatever, you do and, uh, somebody supplying toilet paper. You know, criticized paper Ukraine company. for taking Everybody's too much scam money from what, 400 third parties million. Because that increases the chance for uh, money on the side. Imagine if you just got 50,000 there. That's just beyond belief. <laughs> Hell, I'd just take uh, 30,000. I think change. I could make pretty good do The budget right now, the actual money I think the my government has spent on that war is uh, well about five months ago it's about 113 billion and it's now up to 120. Yeah. Imagine but, how much that uh, could help this year. Huh? Really Maybe I built that. a few bridges, <laughs> just well, two months put a ago. dam in. <laughs> Maybe um, rebuilt our uh, energy grid. They use a lot of diesel fuel to keep its army going, to keep its trucks going. And they use diesel, and it's uh, and and they have since the war began. 
let me pause right here because, you know, a lot of people, they're going like, well, this all doesn't make any sense. Why are we sending all this money to Ukraine? Well, it's because all the globalist elites are getting rich off of our taxpayer money. Uh, and, uh, you know, Biden is corrupt. The whole Biden administration is beyond uh, belief. And, uh, you know, why spend the money here at home when you can just send it to Ukraine? You know, and and by the way, the, their whole regime is coming down, it looks like to me. Uh, but they're bringing us all down with them. And that's why I said, get a garden, grow some vegetables. And diesel from Russia. <laughs> and, um, and, and as they weren't supposed to, right? They weren't, they're not supposed to be funding the war on... Well, Zelensky's not crazy. supposed to be funding the war on Zelensky. <laughs> it's just... The war, even apparently uh, the Chessids, so, uh, that war, they were buying their oil from Russia. I, I just, I, you know, it's just, you know, as they all, you know, the, the old line BS uh, walks and money talks. All right. So I won't play this video, but I thought uh, if you want to watch it on Russia Ukraine updates on YouTube, um, it was about a kid. And uh, what the father did, um, he was posting a lot of anti-Semite uh, uh, Israeli stuff on uh, social media. Because you know what? It's real easy to, to, to pretend you're uh, um, a Nazi or, a, or an anti-Semite or a racist uh, on social media. But when you have to actually get in people's faces and uh, present that, uh, it's a whole different ball game, and so that was what that video was all about right there, and I thought it was pretty cool. I won't play that one. All right, but this is the last one. I know I'm torturing you. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I, I, I hate torturing you, but this is it. So this is what the whole damn day was about. Try to keep you up with news. Uh and, of course, Russia launched these huge retaliation strikes. I mean, Russia, well, Russia was freaking pissed. And, uh, and, and if I could get back to redacted news, uh, you, you got to watch their channel on YouTube and Rumble. But anyway, they showed uh, Putin. And he said, you know what, Ukraine, we have not unleashed you know what we can on you but this strike here uh, it pissed the Russians off and uh, you know they got what 700 a million soldiers waiting on the sidelines I tell you what if Ukraine keeps doing stupid shit like this this is bombing this is bombing a city these are civilians there's no military targets here and uh holy shit i mean putin just said you know and by the way they've got those air munitions uh they come down they're just they're almost like nuclear bombs and uh, they swirl around and they can just blow up everything below them so putin was saying you know he's he's ready to unleash the kraken so that's it. Uh, it's good, 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 good to live in the free, free, free Republican state of Florida. And you know what? I do want to say one thing. Trump, Trump, Trump. I know that maybe some Trump supporters watch this channel. He needs to lay off on his anti-DeSantis rhetoric. DeSantis did a good job, man. And he, now he's saying he did a terrible COVID job. And I don't know who Trump's getting his advice from. He's lying about a few things. If you watch the Rubin Report, uh, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Trump needs to attack Biden. He doesn't need to be attacking DeSantis. Peace out and stay free.